I love Animal Crossing, and one of the things I always joke is that my goal in every game is to play Animal Crossing. Whether that's decorating my dream house, befriending my neighbors, or trying to catch all the unique fish in a game, the ways I play my other favorite games all resemble Animal Crossing gameplay when it gets down to it. And probably to nobody's surprise, The Sims is no exception. I've spent years making an Animal Crossing world in my Sims 4 game, and I'm finally ready to play it. So I made a legacy challenge to capture the heart of Animal Crossing and thought I'd share it with others. Starting in September, I'll be uploading my own playthrough of this challenge on this channel, so check it out if you want to see it in action. As a note, I started this build in 2018, so it's based on New Leaf. And yes, I will cry if you make me update all the buildings for New Horizons. I probably wouldn't finish until the next Animal Crossing game if I tried to do that. But if you'd like to use my buildings to fill out your world, they're all CC free and on the gallery under EAID Futurastal. I've also got some Animal Crossing NPCs up there and we'll be making more as I play more. As two final notes before we get into the challenge, I made this before the Horse Ranch expansion release so that hasn't been included yet. Additionally, I don't really play The Sims, I'm much more of a builder, so I may be adjusting things as I play and see what's realistic, too easy, or too difficult. So if you find this far down in the future, my blog post linked in the description will always have the most current update. Now, onto the challenge. The first step, of course, is the setup. Step 1. Evict all townies and refill homes with villagers and NPCs that we have made specifically for this game. Step 2. Turn auto age and stories off for non-played household. This makes it easier to keep our iconic NPCs around and unchanging as shopkeepers and neighbors as our own story progresses. Step 3. Create a single room plus bathroom Animal Crossing inspired house to start and place it on a 20 by 30 lot. I have a starter house also uploaded to the gallery for this, if you don't want to make your own. 4. Set your lifespan to normal. Set 5. In Create a Sim, make your sim for Generation 1. Guidelines for each generation are later in the video, but you'll be starting with a normal personality, any gender. 6. Make a museum to house your collections. As a lot of the goals are collections oriented, this will be very important. At the moment, I'm still working on my functional museum, so it's not on the gallery yet, but any place to put items that isn't your home lot will do. Optional setup includes filling worlds with Animal Crossing buildings, like the ones on my gallery. I love to use Newcrest as my base world for all these buildings and set it up to really look like a New Leaf town as much as possible. Then, if you want to use a mod, I set up NPCs with the Live in Business mod, which is helpful for businesses to work in a way that Sims 4 doesn't really support, like Brewster both owning and working at the Roost. And although my gallery builds don't have custom content in them, I'll have a ton that I'll be using in my house and throughout my gameplay. If you want to fill your world with Animal Crossing inspired custom content too, I use a lot from Talia's Witchy Sim CC, link down below. Okay, with setup all done, let's go over the rules of the challenge. First rule, start with a single young adult sim with quote normal traits, move them into the Animal Crossing starter lot, and then zero out your money. Two, each generation has a specific personality with their own aspirations and collections to focus on. Each personality has one defining trait that they must have. Choose one other from the list and the third trait can be your choice or randomized. Also, personalities do not have to be tied to gender. Rule 3. A sim can have multiple children, but only one can be the heir. You can choose who this will be, as long as they have the defining traits for the next generation. The others must move out upon becoming young adults. 4. The current generation progresses when the heir becomes a young adult. Parents can either stay and contribute to the household with collections, aspirations, etc., or move out. That's up to you. If they move out, they can no longer contribute to the collections, and they must be played occasionally to age up and die or do this manually. Because of this, you may want to keep them in the household, so it's a good thing that you'll be able to expand your house. 5. Each personality and generation has a few careers to choose from. 
Some fit multiple personalities, so you can choose, but only one can have that career. So, for example, if your normal sim in Generation 1 is a gardener, your Uchi sim in Generation 6 has to be something else. 6. You can marry placed villagers, and you can bring your spouse's funds into the family with a maximum of 20,000 simoleons. Remember, we kicked all the rich townies out, so nobody should have more than that. 7. House expansions are based on money, not generations. This does not include the lot value, but rather how much money your sim has in spending cash. 8. You can move lots twice, at the third expansion to a 30 by 40 lot, and at the final expansion to a 60 by 60 lot. Rules regarding collections. Each generation has specific collections to complete. See the details later in this video or in the blog post. Obviously, only count the collections for DLC that you own. I tried to split them up evenly, but also fit with what each personality would be interested in. Items collected in previous generations count as inheritance, but that generation's collections must be completed before they move out or die. To donate something to the museum, edit the museum in build by mode to place the item and then delete. Do not sell the item from your sim's inventory. Yes, it's a bit clunky, but unless you want your sim to own the museum as a retail store and pay bills on it, this is the best way. The goal of this challenge is to experience different personalities and ambitions in the lens of the sims while also completing the many collections the game has to offer. Enjoy! Now on to the generations, what personality accompanies which, and what you'll be focusing on with each one. Generation 1. Normal. You are sweet and well-rounded, but mostly focused on establishing a solid foundation for your family. Friends, career, education, bonding. Career options are gardening, writing, or the culinary arts. Your goals are to be best friends with eight villagers, excluding family, and read 20 books. Aspiration is family. Collections to focus on are frogs, fossils, decorative eggs, and village fair ribbons. Your required trait is cheerful, and optional traits are creative, art lover, bookworm, booty, animal enthusiast, or cat slash dog lover, and neat. Generation 2. Cranky. Your parents instilled a strong sense of learning, but growing up with little made you want more. You value success over relationships. Career options are physician, business, scientist, or politician. Goals. No more than two best friends, excluding family and reach the top of your chosen career. Your aspiration is knowledge, and the collections you will focus on are microscope prints, space prints, aliens, Batu records, and moonwood relics. Required trait is loner, and your optional traits are gloomy, unflirty, genius, socially awkward, or paranoid. Generation 3, snooty. You learn from your parents to be selective with relationships, but you are more social than them. You enjoy the finer things in life and society. Career options include home decorator, critic, or style influencer. Your goals are to join three clubs and travel on five luxury vacations. Your aspiration is fortune, and the collections you'll be focusing on are medals, crystals, elements, and snow globes. Required trait is snob, and optional traits are high maintenance, romantic, art lover, ambitious, materialistic, proper, animal enthusiast, or cat slash dog lover. Generation 4. Peppy. Growing up surrounded by your parents' club friends, you want to be popular. Your parents involved you in lots of activities, and you want to do it all. Career options are pop star, actor, child star, or spellcaster. Goals are to achieve global superstar and own a hot tub. Aspiration is popularity, and collections you'll be focusing on are postcards, feathers, seashells, and magical artifacts. The required trait is outgoing and optional traits are cheerful, romantic, music lover, dance machine, squeamish, or insider. Generation 5. Smug. 
Your parents leave you with a sense of superiority. It's up to you whether you earn it or just ride on your parents' coattails. You like to flirt, but finding someone to settle down with will be a challenge. Career options are detective or secret agent. Goals are 10 romantic relationships, but no marriage. But you can hire a nanny for your kids. Aspiration is love. Collections are fish, sugar skulls, city posters, and message in a bottle. Required trait is self-absorbed, and optional traits are romantic, self-assured, art lover, ambitious, erratic, snob, insider, jealous, or non-committal. Generation 6, Uchi. After watching your parent play with hearts your whole life, you are very protective and caring. You have close friends that you die for, but you keep your circle small. You tend towards physical activities to get your negativity out. Career options are gardening, crafter, or astronaut. Goals are to start a club of close friends and make your lot eco-friendly. Aspiration is location, and collections are gardening, space rocks, magic beans, geodes, and village fair ribbons. Required trait is loves outdoors, and your optional traits are neat, family-oriented, creative, cheerful, Active, Maker, Freegan, or Hot-Headed. Generation 7, Jock. Your parents showed you the mental importance of endorphins, and you took that and ran. Literally. You work everything out through physical activity, and you love it. Career options are Athletic Career, Lifeguard, or Adventurer. Goals are to have five adventure trips, the jungle, ski resort, etc., and to go to university. A party school. Your aspiration is athletic, and collections you'll focus on are holiday cracker plushies, artifacts, buried treasure, and lightsaber parts. Your required trait is active, and optional traits are adventurous, loves the outdoors, bro, or party animal. Generation 8. Lazy. Your parents force you to do sports as a kid, and you hated it. You'd rather sit around playing video games and reading comics. You've inherited a lot of wealth and a big house. Why work hard when you can enjoy it? Career options are tech guru, barista, or the culinary arts. Your goals are to have a butler or a maid and taste all the city and festival foods. Your aspiration is foodie and collections to focus on are my sims, insects, experimental food photos, void critters, and simmies. Required trait is lazy, of course, and optional traits are goofball, foodie, geek, animal enthusiast, or cat slash dog lover, childish, clumsy, glutton, or slob. As the final part of the challenge, let's talk about house expansions. As I mentioned, these are monetarily based. These are also the numbers I'm not quite sure about, as I don't really know what's realistic in The Sims currency, so this may be heavily edited in the future. But for now, this is the rundown for expansions and moves. And remember, these are obtained when you have this amount in household funds, not counting the lot value. 50k, add a separate bedroom. 100k, add two additional rooms. 250k. Add a bathroom and one addition, such as a porch, greenhouse, shed, etc. At this expansion, you can also move to the 30 by 40 lot. 500k, add an attic room. 750k, add two more rooms in the attic. 1 million simoleons, add a basement and an additional bathroom. 1.2 million, add two rooms in the basement. 1.5 million, one addition, like before, a porch, greenhouse, etc., and you can move to the largest size lot in the game. I hope you have a lot of fun playing this challenge. Let me know if you think these numbers especially are realistic, or if there's too much added into the challenge or too little. I don't think too little <laughs> is um, going to be a problem, but I've never really focused on getting the collections in the game, so... This was very much something I wanted to do as a focus for this challenge, so I'm excited. As I mentioned, I will be putting up videos of this legacy challenge right here on this YouTube channel, 
So don't forget to subscribe if you want to see how this plays out in my own little Animal Crossing world. I have so many links down below for you, including to my um, EA gallery if you want to download the builds that I've made. There's custom content links, the mods that I'll be using. Check it all out down below, and I will see you in a future video. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful, magical day.